Here we are at the Hillside Eco Action site in the Upper Hunter Valley. We're at the headwaters of the catchment of the Isis River. It's hard to imagine after the recent rainfall and flood events across our region that we'd be talking about drought planning. This is an ideal opportunity to put a drought resilience program in place on your property. Local Land Services has a program called the Paddock Between the Ears. We're setting up eco-action sites across our region, funded by the Australian Government's Future Drought Fund. The first step in any drought planning process is to do a property assessment. At Hillside Eco Action Site, we're positioned high in the catchment. We identified that a reliable source of stock water was our number one priority. The dam behind me was put in a number of years ago. Over the years, it has encountered a number of management issues. There was an issue on the overflow where stock were accessing the dam. Over time, with grazing and the pressure of their hooves coming into this area, it had lowered this area and reduced the capacity of the dam. So about five years ago, the dam was cleaned out and this was repaired. Fortunately for us, the inflow to the dam was fenced at this time. This protected the area from overgrazing. We do find high in the catchment that this is one of the big issues that causes a dam to silt up. The soils are highly erodible and with stock pressure in this area on the gully line, silt inflows into the system. So when the dam was cleaned out, that area was fenced off, which gave us a great head start on this site. So building drought resilience at this site was our number one priority. There are a number of steps involved in the drought planning process. Number one, we've ensured that the dam is structurally sound. Number two was the decision to fence off the dam and restrict access to stock. To do this, you have to ensure that there is a reliable source of water available to the stock. We've installed a solar pump that will supply water at a low cost to the grazing system. We've put a holding tank at a high point on the property and water is being pumped up to there and gravity fed back to a trough. In this particular area, we only have two paddocks, but already we've improved the grazing management. Stock have access to water much higher in the system and aren't travelling great distances back to one water source. So the pressure has been spread over a greater area. The decision was made to fence the dam off and restrict stock access. You might ask, what are the benefits of this? Well, first of all, we're reducing the grazing pressure on the area around the dam. As you can see, the native grasses have just taken off. We no longer have an issue with silt running into the system. There's no pugging and manure around the dam edge. And the result has been a much cleaner and more palatable source of water for our stock. Our Upper Hunter Eco Action sites are demonstrating small drought resilience projects you can put in place on your property, taking the stress out of your drought and stock water management. We're inviting land managers to come along to these sites for events we'll be running over the next couple of months. Keep an eye out on social media and check out our website for an event near you at Hillside near Gundy and the Gundabri site near Merriwalk.